Prime targets. Kaboom. You can also fire it really quickly if you want to. You just go spammy. And the whole group is dead. We'll just blind them to get our combo up. We saw we generated our combo really quick. And everything's dead. How the hell did that happen? Melee influence. And prime our targets. So we're not even aiming and it's just auto headshotting for us, right? Prime them. Reduce their armor with Cedo. Okay. That's how many charges you get. 20 pieces. Enough to do some serious damage. And one target remains. Two arrows, dead. Yeah, so that's basically the Paris burst niche with healing yourself and insane amounts of status chance. And there we are, getting our sweet red crits and just totally melting them, especially on headshots. Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's Incarnon review. First up, we have Prisma Scanner, Kunai, and Paris Prime. So, all of these weapons are pretty nuts. The most nuts is actually the Lato, believe it or not, and the Bratton. They just annihilate like Eximus units, corrupted heavy gunners, steel path level stuff. And yeah, like I said, let's witness the. Prisma Scanner in action. That's without any buffs, just obliterating enemies as if they were nothing. A bit of viral, a bit of slash. Weeping Wounds, Blood Rush build, Tenokai, and so on. Probably didn't think it was capable of that, but yeah, with a bit of investment, and in this case, I believe we have a Riven, it can do crazy things. Here's the evolutions, Absolute Valor, Swift Break, Wartime Nerve for super fast combo generation. Can also do heavy attack spam with a overguard frame and over shields or a stealth frame with over shields. So yeah, disclaimer, here's the Riven, but it's also sick even without a Riven. Here's like melee influence without a Riven, right? Let's go for I think we're missing Toxin now, so let's put a Toxin mod on. Electric Viral, no Riven, just to show you that it's it's a great weapon even without getting lucky. No buffs, we'll just blind them to get our combo up. We saw we generated our combo really quick and everything's dead. How the hell did that happen? Melee influence. Yeah. So pause the video here if you want to see the builds. Melee Influence, no Riven, and Exposure, basically the same. You would just replace this Riven with a Toxin one. And kind of missing Prime to reach here. Yeah, I really like Prime to reach on my melee builds. Let's move on and show the Lato next, actually. Mesa is crazy with this thing. Every other frame is also crazy with this thing, but Mesa is particularly crazy, particularly nuts. And I recommend the Cedo as a primer. It's glaive, recalls every two to three seconds or so, allowing you to keep Lato's unique feature, the death trap trigger up permanently. The basic function of Lato is ricochet. It has a little bit of punch through, and as you see here, insane stats. When you combo with Ceramic Dagger you get tier 6 red crits and above. Game only shows you tier 6 red crits but um, yeah you can go higher you can go like tier 25. A friend of mine got that pretty game breaking but uh, yeah it's possible. Okay so you charge the gun in like two or three shots, prime your targets, shoot them in the head. That was two shots right and again prime targets kaboom you can also fire it really quickly if you want to you just go spammy 
and the whole group is dead. Just wanted to display its power with actually one-shotting. And the reason this thing is so good with Mesa, for instance, is that Mesa has this little beauty Ballistic Bullseye, right? Ballistic Bullseye is increasing our damage and crit chance, and on this next shot, for my next trick, even without tier 6 red grids, we're still doing 200k to a fully armored target. Let's show the build without Riven and Lato, just to show you that, hey, you can do this too, you don't need expensive things or luck. We happened to get super lucky, it just dropped for us, and we rolled it to that beast of Riven in three or four rolls, I think it was. So here's the same thing. Charge it up, primer targets, no Riven, right? You can do it too. It's not just me. I just know the systems to make these things work. Kaboom! Lato is great. Lato power in 2024. <laughs> really nice little gun. L let's show the, um, the kunai next. Yeah, in case you want to know more about Ceramic Dagger, I do have a video on it. I'll link it in the description and add a little popping card right now, but um, yeah. Let's show the Kunai and the Paris Prime, and then last, the Bratton. Kunai is pretty nuts too, it has the same mechanic with um, crit damage increase for four seconds, crit chance increase for four seconds. The stats are then here. This is without a Riven, and then this would be with a Riven. We just happened to get lucky. I bought this riv a Riven for 20 Platinum and rolled it to this in 5 rolls. Could be even better without the minus puncture, but um, it's good enough. Definitely good enough. And let's use the same trick with Cedo Priming, but instead of Viral Heat we will go Cold Corrosive. And this Kunai has Secondary Deadhead, a Riven, and all three galvanized mods. And prime our targets. So we're not even aiming, and it's just auto headshotting for us, right? Prime them, reduce their armor with Cedo. Okay, that's how many charges you get, 20 pieces. Enough to do some serious damage. Melts an entire group. Yeah, that's the kunai in action. Basically does the same thing with that Riven, just slightly slower. Um, and you can make it do even more with secondary outburst, of course. Yeah, I'll just show one time without a Riven. I'll compensate with uh, Zatar's Whisper. Oh. Yeah, so not quite as godly without a Riven, of course, but still good. The auto headshot features are super nice, and keep in mind these are like the toughest enemies that we can spawn here, right? They really are. There's just a few, like, Eximus units could be tougher or are tougher and a few niche little mobs but basically that's the toughest stuff you're gonna be seeing in base steel path so that was the kunai hope you enjoyed seeing it next up we have the paris paris is unique because it heals you on status effects and it also has a unique evolution final evolution vicious promise for stealth frames especially when you're soloing you can get crazy damage I'll show it to you as just a regular infinite punch through weapon to use in combo with Excal to kind of make him similar to how he was in the trailer. Except that we're kind of abusing the infinite punch through and Satar's Whisper combo. First thing you want to do is make sure you get a headshot. There we go. And infinite punch through. 
So you see the arrows like ricocheting over and over. Same as with the dread, as it showed last week. That's one of the niches you can use with um, with Paris. It's pretty crazy. Hunter munitions. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hunter munitions and um, it's like an, a nuclear bomb going off, right? Hunter munitions on this thing is doing most of the damage. Make it stop, <laughs> someone says. Okay, we'll just finish them off with them. Um, our Exalted Blade. I did put the least amount of effort into the Paris, so it's not the most impressive. You can get it. I know you can get it to like tier 6 red crit godliness and all of that, but um, that's not what I chose to do this week. At least not yet. And one target remains. Two arrows. Dead. Yeah, so that's basically the Paris first niche with healing yourself and insane amounts of status chance. 140% it says. I think I have more, but um, yeah, I was missing galvanized aptitude. You can put that on there for more status chance and then more damage if you, if you want to use it that way. With the ribbon, this thing would, of course, go through the roof and put amalgam serration on to increase the charge rate with this deadly pace augment, or evolution, I mean. Um, let's just show you the other niche which this has. Now, it's not gonna one-shot heavy gunners, but it will one-shot like infested and corpus, especially if we're running toxin. Yeah, this is the build we came up with against like infested and, to and, and corpus. You'd want to find a way to armor strip like maybe use Epitaph, for instance, you'd need... It's, it's complicated because the enemies have to be undamaged. But anyway, let's show you what we can show you, what I can show you. Um, what are we running? We're just going to spawn like infested battle group, why not? And keep the enemy AI alive. If you put Hush on it, then you'll not de-stealth yourself. And... Yeah, some nice, some nice damage as you see there, right? Because we're attacking undamaged targets, we're getting some pretty decent crits. It's not out of this world, we're not one-shotting like highly armored targets, but we are one-shotting unarmored targets. And getting tier 5 crits, that's what the double exclamation marks mean. So that's, yeah, that's the little niches I discovered for Paris Prime. I'm sure there's some more. Let's go to our last weapon of the week, which is the Bratton Prime. This one actually really surprised me. So what we did is chose crit damage and accuracy minus recoil with channeled ability active. You get a lot of damage and ammo efficiency, so particularly good on Exalted weapon frames, for instance, anything that has gloom or channeled ability active. Now, this works just fine without a ribbon. I'll just prove that to you. Um, just stick like, what elements are we running? Okay, let's just put, I don't know. Yeah, let's just run it even with like five, um, is it five mods? Seven mods instead of eight mods. Okay, just to prove this thing is absolutely nuts. And activate a channeling ability like Elude. Get our um, beloved corrupted bombards and corrupted heavy gunners up. Totally crazy what this thing can do, right? You shoot, you win. So this is seven out of eight mods and they're just melting. Once you put a Riven on, okay, it, it takes a moment to charge up its, um, its galvanized mods. It takes a few kills, right? But once you get them, yeah, everything dies. It does have a bit of radial damage. And here I'm running um, primary frostbite, I think it is. So that's seven out of eight mods. Like, can you imagine what it can do with the ribbon? 
not that expensive very unpopular weapon to be honest because most people would think like hey the basic ones are better like the basic Zaryman arcanes are better primary frostbite cold and you get cold on its normal incarnon shot but you also get blast on its radial attack heat would arguably be better but um yeah whatever this is what we have let's see it in action elude desolate hands Brrr. Bratton goes burr. And for some reason we're not getting those sweet red crits quite yet. But they're on, they're on the way. Oh, we went down. Painful. Charge up. This may just melt. Get some kills. Get ourselves back up again. Okay, so you do want to face the enemy when you have Elude up. Because otherwise they shoot you in the back. And there we are, getting our sweet red crits and just totally melting them. Especially on headshots. Yeah, so that's this week's Incarnons. Hope you enjoyed the show. I hope you enjoyed seeing what all these weapons are capable of. Leave a like, share, comment, subscribe. Anything really helps the channel out. Thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed seeing what these weapons can do.